The Mercedes S-Class is the best-selling sedan worldwide. Now Mercedes presents the brand new model and we're going to find out today what that car delivers. If there are any new inventions inside of the car, how about the drive, how about the luxurious feeling, how about the noise driver assistance safety systems and everything else you may want to know about the brand new S-Class. My S500 is featuring a 3-liter 6-cylinder petrol engine and that delivers 435 horsepower. Um, 520 newton meters of maximum torque and it's combined with a nine-speed automatic gearbox and delivers the power to all the four wheels and with that on board the car has more than enough power to have real fun while driving on the other hand you can really easy cruise and it's so quiet inside of the car now that the sound level is quite like in a very very high class electric vehicle the new S-Class is now 1,95m in width and with that 55mm wider than its predecessor. And when you look at the front, the, pro the most prominent thing is for sure the big grille. And on top of this you do find the air intakes down here and at the side and a quite sharp and crisp front bumper and that gives the car extra width. On top of that the car of course features completely new headlamps always in LED technology but if you want you can order the so-called digital light system that not only includes three very bright LED systems per lamp it also includes a lot more functions. The light of each headlamp consists of 1.3 million pixels and so enables extremely precise light distribution. And the so-called topographic light takes hilly roads into account. When driving over a hilltop, the headlights do not shine into the sky. They will be swiped down onto the road. On top, assistant functions such as the marking of pedestrians on the edge of the road or the projection of warning and information symbols onto the road are possible. If you're looking for buttons and knobs inside of the S-Class, you will not be very lucky because everything here works with sensors. So, of course, you do find the new steering wheel, which you may already know from the new E-Class, everything with sensors. You do have this big touchscreen in the center console, sensors. You do find the um, rear view mirror uh, adjustment system, all sensors, and even the control unit for the air outtakes here in the dashboard is a sensor. The S-Class is featuring the most important driver assistance safety systems and more as standard. But of course you can order a lot more if you want. And at the end of the day, if you take everything, the car is able to nearly drive on its own. As soon as the legal base has been created, the S-Class will drive completely autonomously on suitable motorways up to a speed of 60 km per hour. And for the first time, the driver will be allowed to focus on other things and hand over the responsibility to the car. This step is planned for the second half of 2021. As the predecessor, you can order the new S-Class in two different lengths. And the new short version is now 5 meters 18, which makes it 54 mil longer than its predecessor. The longer version is the one you see here. That's now 5 meters 29, and that makes it 34 mil longer than the predecessor version. And when you talk about the height of the car, that's very similar to the predecessors, only one centimeter more, because the car now is one meter 50 high. Um, looking at the design and the shape of the car, this car now features, as the predecessor, the typical beautiful shape of a big sedan but when you look at the side what you do find is a lot less lines because that now features yeah these floating surfaces because that's the new and modern style of the mercedes-benz design the new big head-up display of the s-class not only features augmented reality which means you get arrows for directions and all this stuff inside of your point of view it also is simply big because the projection is about 10 meters in front of the car and the size of it is similar to a 77 inch screen. Of course you do find LED taillights at the rear of the S-Class. They are featuring a very nice signature here and the interior of them this is a bit three-dimensional so very interesting to look into them. Um, they are connected with this chrome element here and that gives the car yeah, a bit of extra chic from the rear. To give a car sportiness you do find something that looks like a diffuser and these exhaust pipes but unfortunately they are fake. But looking at the rear of the car what I really do like is the car gets a bit slimmer here at the rear and that gives the car yes this typical S-Class very high class look. The new S-Class always features a full digital cockpit but that one here delivers a lot more than most of the others because that really provides you with a real 3D feeling and they deliver that by just tracking your eyes with integrated cameras. The center touchscreen of the infotainment of the S-Class is now 11.9 inch big as standard or 12.8 if you pay extra. And that really is the center control unit of the whole car. But on top of this, the S-Class of course features the newest version of MBUX. And with that, 
loads of improved functions and some new as well. Of course, the new S-Class is featuring an electric tailgate, but I think more important is the car now offers 550 liters of maximum boot capacity, and that's 20 more than with the predecessor. And if you are ordering the new plug-in hybrid, you will be lucky because you will not longer find any steps inside of your boot because the battery is now in the underfloor of the new S-Class. The materials and the craftsmanship here at the interior of the S-Class are really marvelous. And on top of this, the car features an interior design which is very interesting because the dashboard is split in half and that gives the car extra width and makes it even yeah, more airy than it is. And on top of this, you do find a new optional um, ambient light system which not only offers you 250 LEDs, it also offers you um, a sync with the driver assist and safety systems which can provide you with extra warnings here at the side of the car. Another new feature is the intelligent park pilot, which enables the S-Class to park in and out in suitable equipped multi-story car parks fully automated and driverless. My test car is featuring the new optional rear axle steering and this is something you really feel in every driving situation. So for instance if you drive into a parking garage or if you drive in inside of the city centre, um, the turning circle of the car is then up to two meters less than without the rear axle steering. If you drive like I do now on countryside roads with um, tight bends, the car behaves like a compact car. And if you drive on the motorway and you want to change lanes, the car is a lot more stable than without the rear axle steering. When the new S-Class hits the market, there will be six-cylinder petrol and diesel engines available. With a petrol, you can choose between 367 or 435 horsepower. For the diesels, you will have 286 or 330 horsepower. A bit later, there will be an eight-cylinder petrol engine available as well. That then delivers 503 horsepower. And if you want to drive a bit electric, uh, 2021, there will be a, a plug-in hybrid available. That then should drive up to 100 km purely electric. Of course, all of the S-Class models will have an automatic gearbox as standard, and some of them will be available either as an optional or as a standard feature with a formatic all-wheel drive as well. The amount of space the S-Class offers here at the front seats is yeah, more than sufficient, even for a tall person like me with nearly two meters. On top of this, the seats are so comfortable and they do offer loads and loads of support as well. How much space there is behind me, we're going to find out while having a short stop. This here is definitely the place to be if you sit on the rear seat in a Mercedes S-Class long version. So you can see the passenger seat is from the very front and that gives me more than enough space. And there are two things I really do like a lot with the new S-Class. One thing is you will not only find a big touch monitor for each of the passengers, you will also find a tablet inside of the car, which you can take away. So with you when you leave the car. And the other very interesting thing is you can have with the um, rear seats a sleeping position. But normally by law, you're not allowed to be driven while having this position. And this is a bit of a pity because that's very comfortable. But with the Mercedes S-Class, you're now allowed to do so because they integrated something in the seat that is similar to, an, I would say, an airbag system. So it's an air cushion that will press you into the seat and into the belt whenever you will have an impact. And with that, you're allowed to, let's say, have a cozy night in the S-Class while you've been driven. Something I don't like is the new system to adjust your seats because that now works with sensors as well. And this is now no longer as easy and as precise um, usable as with the predecessor. So now my test drive is about to come to an end and I really have to say what will stay is how comfortable, how easy the drive in the new S-Class is. One reason for that is how quiet the car is and on the other hand how good the suspension and the steering are working. That's because they really provide you with loads of comfort. And then there is the powertrain. It is very easy, very quiet, and it always tells you, I do have power enough when needed, but if you don't, we just enjoy the drive. And then on top of this, you have this surround view in the car, which really is absolutely nice, and these big roof um, windows, which really provides you with a yeah, very nice and very cozy environment. And at the end of the day, what really stays is driving that car really gives you the S-Class feeling. That was my test drive in the brand new Mercedes S-Class. And to make a long story short, I think Mercedes delivered again. This is the benchmark when we talk about comfort 
and security in the future, or let's say from now on. To drive the new S500 was a real pleasure, and that's not only because of the powertrain. The new rear axle steering really makes that car, yeah, it feels like a compact one, an absolute pleasure to drive. On top, you get completely new or advanced driver assistance and safety systems, which makes, yet yeah, partly autonomous driving so easy and so comfortable. And they said they were going to deliver more next year, so then you will find level three up to 60 kilometers per hour. But there is one downside for sure, that that's the price. In Germany, you pay for this base version, which is the S350D from 93,500 euros onwards. That's the short version. The long one will cost you from 96,000 euros. And ours here, the S500 long, starts at 117,000 euros here in Germany.